Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about Battlefield 1 and whether it falls short of Battlefield 4, which game is better. And if don't worry about the lighting, it, it's a little bit of light here, either zero or a ton of light here. It just happens. But we're going to talk about whether or not Battlefield 1 falls short of Battlefield 4. And we're going to talk about all of the things that Battlefield 4 does better than Battlefield 1. And generally, the attachments. Battlefield 1, the attachments suck. I think they could have taken the history part and schmoozed it a little bit. You know, they have, like, like think of the C Regatti. What does that gun get? I'm pretty sure it gets a vertical foregrip and a red dot and a bayonet. That's it. Right? Some of the other guns, they get, like, a different type of scope. Right? Sniper rifles. Uh, iron sight, medium range scope, or long range scope. That's not a lot of attachments compared to freaking Battlefield 4 where there's 20 different suppressors and a bunch of different red dot sights. Right? I like that. I like having the ability to use different types of um, attachments and sights for stuff. So I think... Yes, it's a World War One game, but even making it so, you know, maybe you could put a red dot on a sniper that couldn't use a red dot, or a suppressor, or a bipod, right? A bipod or not, or a, a straight pole or not, something like that. Maybe detachable magazines, if they even had those on certain guns, I don't know. Something, something like that to really spice up the gameplay. Vertical foregrips, anything. And I think the next is gun count. Let's be honest, Battlefield 4 has far superior in terms of gun counts than Battlefield 1. I mean, Battlefield 1 has a sad excuse of guns. You can buy three different guns, it's just the same gun with different attachments on it. One's a burst fire, one's a red dot, one's an extra scope. So I think, in terms of guns, I understand that, of course, back in the, the day, there wasn't, you know, of course there's less types of guns, but... I think that they could have added more guns that weren't necessarily used in World War One. Like, let's just take the, the Thompson. Before it was actually the Thompson, and it was the Tommy gun. That was made in 1919 or whenever it was made, right after the war. Putting that in the game, even though it wasn't used in the war, like, would be a great SMG, right? It's just um, some, maybe some bolt actions, not or semi-auto rifles, anything that spices up the game a little bit more than it already is. And now with the DLC, I think there's a lot of guns. I don't think there's enough guns still. It's just my opinion on that. And then general specialization. I feel like in Battlefield 4, each class specifically has a very specific specialization, right? I think when it comes to Battlefield 1, you basically have a sniper... Um, you know, different ranges. You have a sniper, someone to heal you, someone to give you ammo, someone to fix you up. And in Battlefield 4, I feel like that was a little more prominent in terms of the attachments you could use. I mean, think of Assault Class. You could be a medic, or you could be a vehicle destroyer, or an anti-infantry. You had those three options with the Assault Class, right? And you also had the interchangeable guns, so you could be a long-range assault class. You could be a long-range medic. You could be a short-range medic with a shotgun, right? So I, I feel like specializations, and this goes with attachments too, you can have an assault rifle with a 4X versus an iron sight, right? A DMR with a longer-range scope. Like, th there's so much more specialization in Battlefield 4 than Battlefield 1 that I, I just feel like my experience, I feel more unique in Battlefield 4 than in Battlefield 1. Now, with that said, Battlefield 1, I think, does some things superior to Battlefield 4. One of which is, I actually think Battlefield 1 has better vehicles. Yes, there's no helicopters, but planes, I think, are way, way better. And I think the ability to specialize your vehicles is great. Having, instead of saying, okay, you get a tank, an LAV, and a Jeep, you can say, two tanks. You can pick the assault truck. The anti-this, the anti-that, the whatever, just, that's what you get. Planes, right? Instead of having one fighter, one bomber, you can have three fighters, three attack planes, three bombers, you know? 
So I feel like in terms of vehicles, Battlefield runs a lot better when it comes to vehicles by far. It's just my, that's what I think. And I think that the different types of vehicles is better than just saying, oh, this is a tank with thermal instead of a zoom on it. I think Battlefield 1 has better maps, but only because Battlefield 4, I think, when it comes to maps like the urban maps, I don't, I think it's like, you look at the top of a building or the bottom of a building. You look at this part of it or this part of it. Battlefield 1, I just think, has more dynamic maps, and you can come at the maps in different ways, right? I feel like with Battlefield 4, let's take Siege of Shanghai. You take A and B, you take E and D, then you have C. Then whoever captures C attacks the other two objectives. You can flank, but then the other two objectives take that flank. Like, it's... It's very much, I think, most of the maps on Battlefield 4 need to be, are played out in a specific way. And I think in Battlefield 1, it's a little bit more unique, where you can actually take your squad, say, hey, we're going to go after this objective instead. And it makes a difference depending on which objectives you take, right? Especially with the fact that in Battlefield 1, there's a lot more objectives that give you different vehicle spawns, right? Like extra planes or tanks. So I feel like they just have better maps. And Battlefield 1 has far, far superior sniping than Battlefield 4 does. Battlefield 1 snipers are just better. Just all around with the killing zone and the fact that you don't have to hit a headshot every single time. And in Battlefield 4, you have to hit a headshot every single time, basically. You know, there's that sweet spot for every different gun making all the snipers unique, not just magazine size, ammo type, the attachments, and the, um, just bullet drop. I think... Battlefield 4 one just does better with sniping. And with that being said, I think each game has its flaws. Each game has good and bad qualities, of course. I think, it is, is my opinion, that Battlefield 4 is the better game. And it's because of one fact. Even though the maps don't play out, you know, Battlefield 1, the maps play out better than Battlefield 4. I think Battlefield 4 on an individual person scale lets you have more dynamic encounters. So here's what I mean. In Battlefield 1, there's a lot of push up to this building, shoot at a couple guys, push forward, shoot at a couple guys, push forward, right? And you just use whatever skill you have to push, 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 push. Or flank. In Battlefield 4, there's a lot of drive the LAV this way really fast, do this. I'm in cover, chuck the grenade here, I have a scope, do this. Can't it iron sight, scope, can't it just... I feel like, even though the maps play out the same basically every time in Battlefield 4, just on an individual scale, you have different experiences. And Battlefield 1 is, they kind of tried to do that. The Russian one was a great example. The DLCs get so many different experiences in the Russian DLC, and it will always be my favorite DLC of that game. But Battlefield 4, on every map, you can get dynamic encounters. Right? It's just the way that the games are built. So I think Battlefield 4 is superior to Battlefield 1 because of the different experiences you get. If Battlefield 4, I think, had maybe less guns and attachments, Battlefield 1 would be the superior game. But I want to know what you guys think. Why do you like Battlefield 4 better than Battlefield 1? Why do you like Battlefield 1 than Battlefield 4? Go ahead and tell me in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.